Welcome back to Cooking with Ash. Today I will be sharing a recipe for some firecracker salmon bites. Look at these babies. Cooked to perfection, served with that delicious sauce. It's mouth watering. It's a recipe you have to try. If you're new to my channel, I welcome you. And I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button. To all my subscribers, sending you my love, thanks and gratitude. Salmon is a great source of protein, healthy fats, and various essential vitamins and minerals. Salmon is rich in long-chain omega-3 fatty acid, which has been shown to reduce inflammation, lower blood pressure, and decrease risk factors for disease. So join me in the kitchen and let's prepare these delicious firecracker salmon bites. Season our salmon pieces, you know, I went ahead and cut them up in smaller chunks or pieces. I went ahead and washed it with a little bit of lemon juice, you know, pat it dry. And all the seasoning we're going to use here is some Cajun seasoning. And this is what our Cajun seasoning is looking like. And if you don't have Cajun seasoning, you know, you can buy it store bought. But if you don't have the Cajun seasoning and you want to make your own, it's just a combination of spices probably that you already have in your pantry. So it's just some paprika, kosher salt, um, garlic powder. Um, ground black pepper, some white pepper, onion powder, dried oregano, some cayenne and thyme. And this, that's the blend that makes up occasion seasoning. You know, everyone have their own, you know, spices or blend that they may add um, to it differently. But this, that's my blend for um, occasion seasoning. But this is a store-bought occasion seasoning. I didn't do my own blend. So you want to you know add your seasoning to your salmon pieces and toss it really well coat it like you know make sure it's well coated and this is perfect this is what your pieces should look like well coated into the cajun seasoning here i have a baking sheet lined with um foil paper i'm gonna go ahead and assemble my salmon pieces on this sheet i went ahead and set my oven to broil on high and we're gonna cook this very fast quickly and it's going to be delicious and yummy um, I'm gonna pop this into my oven I set it on bro broil for high um, I just hit high um, I don't know how your oven setting is if you're gonna broil it and there is a temperature you can do it 500 degrees and like I mentioned we're doing it fast and high so um, you do it for five to six minutes so make sure you keep an eye on these I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in and then I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like. Also, we're gonna prepare that delicious sauce to put on top. Our firecracker sauce, we're using some mayo to make this. And of course, I'm using some chili sauce. And do remember guys, everything I'm using will be listed in the description box below for your convenience. And I'm using some sriracha. So I'm just gonna measure this out, get some out in this. Let's just measure some out in this cup. Bringing the fiery, the fiery crockery. And in goes the sriracha. Ooh, can smell that already. And our salmon is right about done. In a couple of seconds, we'll have that out. And you wanna combine this well. Go ahead and give this a good old mix. Mix everything in nice. I usually use a whisk as it smooths it out really nice and our salmon is ready so let me grab those so here you have it guys our finished plated firecracker salmon and look at this cook to perfection it broil in the oven exactly for six minutes but look at that so beautiful i went ahead and drizzle our sauce over it garnish it with some sweet bell peppers you can use spicy peppers if you like here and some scallions look at that cook to perfection so i hope you guys give give this um salmon bites the, the firecracker salmon bites a try and if you enjoy it leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts on it thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen sending you my love have a great weekend stay safe stay blessed 
Please share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to hit that thumbs up and leave a comment below. Sending you guys my love.